Hey friends, welcome back. Today I have another Walmart haul. So on this latest haul, I was obviously really inspired by fall, even though it's still like in the 90s where I live. But I definitely wanted to start incorporating some of those moodier colors. So I have some faux leather, I have some like really rich, like darker tones, and then I also have a couple of pieces that are just like that dark denim that is like really hot right now so if you want to see what i got then just keep on watching in case you're new to my channel i always link all the items i'm going to be sharing with you today down below i also included them in a comment that is pinned i've also included sizing and the color as well as the timestamps, so you can always go forward or backward to any of the items just by clicking on those timestamps. let's begin with our first item which is this cardigan from scoop so this one actually comes in three different colors. You have a black, there is the kombu green, which is like a, just like a, a darker green, like an army green. And then this one is called whisper white. They range in sizes from extra small to double XL. I got it here in the size medium. And I really like this item because of the like exaggerated sleeves. So although it looks like a really boring cardigan, I feel like the sleeves just add a little bit of interest to the outfit, I also really liked this paired with nothing underneath, just like a bra, kind of like the sweater that I am wearing today where you can just have a bra underneath and it just looks very fresh and polished. The material is really nice as if you ever purchased anything from Scoop. I feel like the materials are great quality and the sizing is really true to size. So I probably could have gotten this in a small if you wanted to have more of a fitted look. I like things like a little bit more room. So I got it here in the medium. I feel like it was perfect. Just a nice little knit sweater for fall. I think you'll really enjoy this with like some jeans, put it on with some ballet flats, the ballet flats that I actually shared on my last Walmart haul, which I'll link it here for you so you can go check that out. Okay, my next item is definitely a showstopper. So it's this free assembly trench coat. It is in this dark denim. Now this is the only denim wash that is available, but I feel like this really dark, rich, Denim is just so nice and elevated. And again, because it's not your traditional trench, this is definitely gonna be a head turning piece. The quality is amazing. Like it's actually kind of heavy. I have it here in the size medium. There is also like these little button details and I just really loved the cut and the fit of this there is also pockets and then obviously you have a sash here that you can tie that has the same material as the trench but again if you're looking for something that's out of the traditional out of the norm of trench coats i think you'll really enjoy this piece you know that head to toe denim look is all the rage right now and so i feel like this would be a great addition i will also be sharing a pair of denim that is very similar to the denim wash of this coat as well as another shorter dress that is also like the similar shade of this trench coat so keep on watching okay moving on to my next item it's actually a variation of an item that i have already shared with you i will link the video here if you want to go check it out but this is the free assembly jacket. I had shared it previously of more of a tan color. It also comes in black, but I really liked this brown and black buffalo check. I feel like it gives a little bit of a rustic look, but yet yeah, it's still polished. It's still like very streamlined. So again, if you're trying to get away from the normal like black or tan jacket, I think this will be a fun color that you can incorporate to your wardrobe this fall season. It is also lined on the inside and I got it here in the size large because again, I like it a little bit oversized. It's more of a boxy fit as well. So it's just like a cool girl jacket. And honestly, I have not seen any other brands that have like this color combination and print so definitely a jacket that would stand out so if you're looking for like a fun casual like warm jacket I think you'll really enjoy this one as well okay next I have another piece from scoop this is definitely a piece that is very basic and something that you can layer underneath like a blazer or a coat or jacket or just really about anything so it's this one right here it's a wide ribbed it says sweater on the product page but I would say more like a shirt I mean it's not very thick so if you're looking for something like insulation this is probably not going to be it but it's just like it feels really nice especially for like an early fall top but i really liked this color this is the color mushroom and it comes in four different colors again the sizing goes from extra small to double xl i got it here in the size medium and i feel like it fits perfect it's supposed to be like more of a fitted look i think this would look really nice for work as well because it is a high neckline tucked inside some trousers i think you'll look so chic but i really liked the material on this one again don't be fooled it's not a sweater material it's actually fairly thin I'm actually I'm not gonna say it's like super super thin but 
I just like, to me, a sweater would be like my next item, which is this one right here. Like to me, this is a sweater, like something that I probably can wear like in 60 degree weather, um, where I don't need additional layers. So this, I would say maybe like, I don't know, like 70 degrees, I'll be good. And I get cold really easily. So this is probably something I would wear on like 70, 65 without a jacket. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, this next item I also shared in my previous Walmart haul, which I'll link here if you wanna go check it out. So it actually came in four different colors and I had shared the cream colored one and then the high risk red, which is like a very vibrant red. But I wanted to see how this one looked in person and it's like a really nice deep green. I got it here in the size medium. And again, this is something more that I would like say that is like sweater material because it is a little bit more thick. It does have the oversized balloon sleeves in case you that previous Walmart haul, I kind of had shared how I got two of the same sweaters, different colors, but the same size and the white version seemed a little larger than the red version. Well, this one also kind of fit like the red version. So again, if you wanted something that's a little bit more oversized, I would say size up. I got this one in a size medium. I probably would like to fit better if it was a size large. Again, I don't know why the sizing different was off, even though it was the same size. It's just like the colors. I don't know if something happens like whenever they're making it or on the assembly line, but again, this one fit a little bit smaller. So for this one, I would recommend sizing up one. Okay, this next item was like an instant add to cart because it looked so beautiful online. Uh, I was a little disappointed with the sizing. So let me explain. So this dress from Free Assembly, I absolutely loved, again, that dark denim color. I got it here in the size small thinking because in my previous hauls, whenever I get size mediums, there's sometimes a little bit of room here and there. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and get the size small. Well, it fit great like on like the torso, but as far as the sleeves, I felt like the sleeves were very short. At first I thought maybe it was a three quarter sleeve dress, but when I looked at the description page, it actually says long sleeve dress. And I noticed that this did not hit all the way to my wrist. It almost like hit like right here. And it was just a little bit uncomfortable because it just felt like, so, I feel like even if I was to size up to a medium, I don't feel like the sleeves go all the way down. Now, it doesn't bother me that much. I probably would just like scrunch up the sleeves and wear it that way because I honestly really, really loved the color and the, the rest of the fit. Not the sleeves, but the rest of the fit I really liked. It has these pockets here in the front. It also has this sash that you can tie around your waist and it also has pockets. I just felt like this dress was just so beautiful for fall. Aside from the sleeves issue, I I really like this dress. I paired them with these brown boots that I got from Banana Republic Factory. I got them on like major sale. I think they were like $150 and they were on sale for like 60 bucks. And just because they looked so unique and beautiful and there were that low heel, which I really appreciate, I jumped at the chance and I grabbed them. So I'll link those as well down below if you wanna check those out because at last check they were still in stock. But paired with this dark denim, I felt it was so beautiful. So as far as sizing goes, I would say maybe just go ahead and size up just because the sleeve situation like, I can see where some of you might get a little bothered by like the lack of movement when it comes to the sleeve. So I just wanna put that out there. Just It just really depends. I know some people are very like fidgety with their clothes, like they don't want anything tight. But as far as the color and the fabric, I just feel like this dress is just so beautiful. Okay, let's move on to a disappointment. <laughs> and I wasn't gonna share it at first, but I feel like you need to know if items are not up to par. And so I wanna be very transparent with you guys. So this next dress is also from Free Assembly. And again, yeah, when I saw it online, I was like, that would be so beautiful. You could wear it to church, you could wear it to work. It's just a very nice, like elevated dress. So I grabbed it here in the black. There are two other options, which kind of have like a little bit of a print, but the uh, background color is like a burgundy and there's one that's like a, like a navy, but I went ahead and got it here in the black. And when you try it on, it's beautiful. The only thing is that there is like this tear down here and it was see-through. So you know like sometimes you can see dresses like you can see people's like leg silhouettes through it. Like it was 
uncomfortably see-through for me just because that layer like on maxi dresses if you see a little bit of the lower leg i think i'm okay with that but because this is a shorter dress and that lower tier was sheer i just i didn't like it and then i was thinking i was like is there a slip under here that i forgot to pull down and there's not so if there was an attached slip underneath i think you'll be okay now if you want to add a slip that's up to you but for me i really did not enjoy like that see-throughness down here so this one's actually gonna go back I got it here in the size medium I feel like the sizing was really great but again I'm gonna leave that up to you guys I'm just like trying to warn you that there is a little bit of sheerness at the bottom but other than that I feel like the dress is really pretty and classic it's also very like the material again because I guess because it's sheer um, it feels really good so especially right now where it's not too cold I think this will like keep you cool, but maybe some additional undergarments are needed for this one. Okay, this next set is from Scoop. It's a rib knit sweater and skirt set. And I absolutely love sets because there's not much to think about. The top is gonna go with the bottom. So it comes in this green and then there is also a black version. The sizing runs from extra small to double XL. The top is a mock neck and sleeveless, which is perfect for this transitional weather. And then you have the skirt here. It's fitted, it's like that sweater material. And then here at the bottom, you have like this section right here. It kind of just flares out a little bit. It hits midi length. I also love the fact that you kind of get multiple outfits for buying this so you could definitely wear like this top with some jeans or some slacks to work and then pair this with like a different sweater or a different top it's not super heavy but again scoop items usually are made with like really great materials so you could definitely feel this and feel like it's a little bit more elevated I think this set will look really pretty if you are gonna be doing fall family pictures if you want to center like the rest of the family around like this deep green color I think it'll be really pretty it obviously pairs with like browns and tans whites creams so it'll be like a really easy outfit idea for you and then you can kind of just like pick the rest of the family's outfits um, around your like color but I just really liked this little set okay my next item is another item from scoop which is this like little sweater shell it has the turtleneck which this turtleneck I actually like folded it in so it wouldn't be so like in your face but it just really depends on how you like to wear it the material is great it's not super thick but it's not super thin either it's like a nice medium weight it comes in five color options i obviously have it here in the black i actually paired this with my next item which is this skirt from scoop it comes in two different colors it's this black one and then there is also a tan one or it's more of like a camel color so the one thing i will say is the sizing does run large i got it here in the size medium and whenever i was trying it on for you guys like i actually had to pin the back because it was so much excess material i was trying to pull it up but it would just like fall down because it's really more of a heavier weight but i feel like it's so pretty and i just really liked how this paired with this sleeveless top this is definitely a more unique skirt but again because it is midi length it's very appropriate for just about anything so if you like to add a little bit more edge into your wardrobe i think this would be the perfect item i would say though size down because it does run large i feel like a small would have been a much better fit because the medium was actually a little bit too oversized for me okay my next item if you're looking for something that's really fun or you're trying to get a little bit out of your comfort zone i know i share a lot more or straight leg jeans or jeans that uh, they say they're straight leg but they almost look like a skinny jean but if you want to venture out into the wide leg trend I know for me it just really depends on the fit because I have wider hips so some wide leg jeans that just make me look really wide so I don't like that this one I like because it was a lot more fitted um, around the hip and then it just kind of like just came out so this is more of a fun jean for me this isn't for free assembly I got it here in the size six which I feel like maybe I should have gotten the size eight just really depends the only thing is that this one has been on the the site for a while so there's probably very limited sizing at last check I even think that this one was on clearance so you may or may not get lucky for this one but I still wanted to share it because it has like this fun like really 
oversized wide legs. I really liked the color of this one and I actually paired it with the my next item which is some Converse lookalikes. So I really liked the platform sole here and it actually comes in a ton of colors but I got it here in the white. Now there is a white color that does not have the lining but I actually like this dark outline here at the bottom. But again for some fun sneakers I think this one's a really great price and it looks really cute with the over oversized jeans. So I just wanted to share those with you because I really liked the way that these look. And again, they're so much more affordable than Converse. My daughter actually loves Converse. That's all she wears. I did not check to see if they had kids sizing, but I just thought that these were just super cute. Well, there you have it. That is my latest Walmart haul. I hope you enjoyed the items that I shared with you today. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did. And let me know in the comments which item is your favorite. On my next video, I'll be sharing some Amazon fashion. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss that video. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.